Okay. Alrighty, we will call the uh, Budget and Finance Committee meeting to order. Uh, for the record, I believe we have all members present with the exception of Mrs. Zamobian. And if she does come in, we'll certainly uh, record that. Uh, looking for a motion to accept the minutes from the last meeting. Motion to accept the minutes of the last meeting. Okay. And a second. Okay. We have a motion, a second. All in favor, please let it be known by saying aye. 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 Okay, thank you. We have a uh, one resolution coming before us today, and I'm asking uh, if uh, Miss Viviana would please read that in for us due to some difficulties I'm having here. Thank you. Sure. This is offered by Councilman Neal, Councilwoman Samples, and Councilwoman Amobian. Resolution expressing support for NL NBC LEO's amendment to NLC's Resolution 42 that urges local governments to create COVID-19 community equity funds to address the long-standing systemic health challenges and obstacles related to economic mobility of generational wealth that have been highlighted by the pandemic and declaring an emergency. Very good. Uh, I think uh, probably let's just go straight to asking uh, one or all of the sponsors if you'd like to address us, that would be wonderful. And uh, looking for any hands that are up. Uh, let's see, do I see any hands here? Yes, I can see that Councilman Neal has his hand raised. Okay, sorry about that, Russ. Okay, Councilman Neal. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, the resolution that's before us uh, uh, comes after much discussion amongst uh, leadership with National League of Cities, as well as the presidents of the different constituency groups of which I'm proud to serve as the president of the National Black Caucus of Local Elected Officials. Uh, many of us and the constituency groups, let me uh, share who they are, is uh, the LGBTQ committee, APAMO, which is the Asia Pacific, uh, HALO, which is the Hispanic Latino, the Native American, uh, and, and WIMAG. Um, over this past uh, 15, 16 months, of course, we've been dealing with the impact of COVID. And we know that disproportionately COVID has impacted different segments of our community. Um, we, like other communities, uh, declared uh, racism a public health crisis. Uh, we see the, the increase in violence across our nation. Uh, President Zahn, who's hails out of uh, the Seattle area um, and is over the uh, uh, Asian Pacific uh, constituency group. We all know the impact on their community would increase violence. Uh, we know from the statistics how COVID has adversely impacted black and brown communities and our LGBTQ community. Um, so this resolution comes in because we understand, although our communities have been um, blessed with this one-time infusion of uh, uh, dollars that are coming in to address the effects of COVID, we all understand that um, come 2024, when we are to have designated these dollars and expensed them, um, the disparities that have been highlighted by COVID as well as exasperated will still be with us. Our communities will still be dealing with the impact of COVID-19 long past the 2024 deadline. It's gonna be critical that we have a way to understand how to address the causes and not just the effects. Um, to do that, we're gonna to have to uh, be able to work and do the think tank work that's necessary to address the impact of this disease. Um, and so uh, this is why the resolution is before you. The US Treasury uh, in the American Rescue Plan dollars uh, specifically designates how these do uh, dollars can be utilized. They come to our community because of the poor, because of the uh, 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 instability of housing in our communities. So these dollars are coming because of those communities that have the most disadvantaged populations receive the most dollars. Um, but we also understand that uh, a part of the American Rescue Plan, they give cities the opportunity 
to direct funds to the non uh, non uh, private nonprofits of their choice, but it doesn't designate them as setting them up as community equity funds. So this resolution that's before before you is after much discussion with the presidents of all these different constituency groups, the um, directors of the federal advocacy committees. And these federal advocacy committees are the ones who take all of the ideas of city councilmen, mayors across the country and form our policy and take them to Capitol Hill. Work very closely, I, I sit on CED and so work very closely with Mike Wallace who is the uh, Community Economic Development uh, Federal Advocacy uh, Coordinator in, in shaping this uh, resolution, amending the one that NLC had already passed so that we could take this to, to uh, the Hill and ask the US Treasury Department to give local governments that ability to take some of their dollars, a percentage of the dollars, and create endowments to work on the long-term, uh, the causes and not just the effects that have been, uh, as I said, highlighted by COVID-19. Thank you, Mr. Neal. Uh, I don't know, do we have, did Ms. Amobian, was she able to join us? No, I think Ms. Amobian has, I, I spoke to her, I know she has a schedule conflict. Okay. Okay, uh, didn't know if sponsor would like to speak as well. I do not do not see her. Well, I, I, I will say this, okay. Ms. Amobian, uh, Mr. Chair, I, I will share this. Ms. Amobian yes. and Ms. Uh, Samples are both members of NBC Leo. And that's why I, okay. I, I thought it was appropriate for them to be on the uh, uh, Resolution since I mean it's coming from our hometown, uh, but this again is is one that uh, as president I worked with the other presidents of the other constituency groups and the the leadership within NLC uh, the of the Community Economic Development uh, Federal Advocacy Committee. Okay, to see very how good. we can how we can put our communities in the best position to deal with the long term effects of this COVID virus. Are there any questions or comments from either committee members or other council members? Sarah, if you'll help me out, if we, I miss anyone here. I don't see any hands raised at the moment. Okay. Okay, Mr. Neal, thank you for your, for your work on this. Uh, I know we'll probably hear, hear, uh, hear more and hear what we've heard again this evening, but, uh, if it's possible, could I have a motion for suspension of the rules and uh, issue a favorable report on this resolution? So moved. Looking for a second? Second. second. Okay, thank you. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor of placing this item, uh, <coughs> excuse me, passing this item by measure of emergency, please let it be known. Aye. 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 And opposed? Okay, very good. Mr. Neal, thank you again. Thanks for your work. And you, we will hear more this evening and uh, get this passed out this evening. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. I don't believe we have anything else coming before us. Am I correct in that, Ms. Viviano? That's correct. Okay, very good. Okay, we will adjourn at 3 10 p.m. Thank you very much. That is our final committee meeting for the day. Council will meet at 7 p.m. tonight in council chambers. Thank you.